Hi everyone, Andrew here, Gander RV, Brainerd Lakes area, Baxter, Minnesota store. Say, today I'm talking to you about hideouts. These just landed on our lot and we are excited about them. Hideout is brought to us by Keystone. This one specifically is the 175 LHS. Out front here, we have our nice awning, eight to 10 feet out. Very well lit by them bright white LEDs. Uh, our outdoor speakers with the blue lights kind of help accent the uh, camping side here. Let's take a little walk around the outside and see what we have. We have manual stabilizers on here. Now you can either use the hand crank or with this little drill attachment. Make sure I'm going in the right direction. I think I am. I'm going right there. One, two, three, four of those all the way around. Take you about two minutes and you're set up with the drill attachment. Coming around back here, you will see our prep uh, for our backup camera ready. There is not a backup camera there, but it is prepped. So there's wires, there's power. It is ready for one. Our spare tire on the back mount there. Coming around, we'll see our access uh, to our hot water heater, furnace, city water and fresh water holding tank. Now one thing I really like with these hideouts is the self-contained cord. Uh, park, unhook your tow vehicle, pull away, pull out the cord, plug it in, and you're good to go. Don't gotta lug it out of the front storage, in and out every time, it's just always there. You can't lose it, you can't forget it. Up front here is the one side of the pass-through storage, all the way through, very deep, and then up above uh, would be your breathing vent for the uh, air conditioner there. Up front here we have a manual tongue jack, our propane tank ready to go. You get a shot of that front. The hideouts just kind of have a cool factor as you're towing them down the road. Uh, coming to you with your industry's best three year limited structural warranty there. On the other side, of course, the door for our pass through storage and then our solar plug uh, prep. Helps us get off grid a little more, trickle charge those batteries with the solar setup. That is an add on, but this camper is ready for that. Let's go in and take a look. Uh, one, two solid step connection to the ground. No hanging steps, very sturdy to walk up. When we get in here to the right, uh, we will see our full size bed in the nose of the camper, kind of at the foot of the bed, if you will. A very large cabinet with a hanging bar there. A couple USBs and power outlets for your charging needs. Nice uh, wood, uh, wood panel accent in the front. Just very homey in here for the size. Of course, our air conditioner with the manual controls there. Nice, large upper cabinet. Below that, we have our booth seating for four. Now, this will double into an extra sleeping space as well. Up above here on the wall, we have our check levels for uh, the fluid level in our fresh water, our gray water, and black tank, and then battery. Here's your thermostat uh, control. Refrigerator underneath, a very large counter space. Nice cabinets above. Decent enough size sink with the high arching faucet so we can get in there, rinse off our dishes, wash our hands. Here's our Furion AM FM Bluetooth capable stereo system. Now this will control the speakers inside and or outside. And again, Bluetooth capable, you can do it right from your phone. Two burner cooktop and a graystone microwave above. Behind me here, you will see this 175 LHS is a bunk unit. Both beds have individual reading light controls, so you don't gotta disturb the other person in the other bunk if you're up a little later than them. Right before we get into the bathroom, Keystone is great about sneaking in storage when they can. We have a nice deep cabinet and then two shelves below. In the restroom here, it's a rear bathroom, which means for the size, there's gonna be a little more room our foot flush toilet, enough foot room by the front of the bathtub there. Your sink area isn't the largest, but still you can put, fit a tube of toothpaste over here, a toothbrush, uh, mirrored vanity. It's not a cabinet, but just a mirror on the wall so we can do our hair in the morning. In the shower here, decent enough room. I'm 5'7", I can stand up in here just fine. Of course, that shower head is removable as well. See, I think what you should do is come on down uh, to Gander RV here in Baxter, Minnesota, store number 653, and check out this Keystone Hideout 175 LHS, because what we do here in Baxter is we sell fun.